We're here with Tom Hiddleston, one of the stars of Warlander, which was obviously uh, very successful at the main BAFTAs. You've just presented an award. How did that go for you? Uh, I, guess, I think it went okay. I think I, uh, I got all the names right. And, um, I was that is a big challenge, isn't it? Yeah, well, well, yeah, I guess so. You just don't want to get people's names wrong. I've got a bit of a funny surname. People often get my surname wrong. They sort of, you know... Heidelstone or Middle, Middleton or something. Um, I'm not very worried that I got it wrong. No, no, you got it right. Hiddleston, bang, you got it right. Uh, I presented the award for um, visual effects, um, which I think is a thrilling award to present because um, I think a lot of television now, because, of, because visual effects have got so advanced and incredibly um, professional, um, that the scale of... of you, of, of the creative imagination by writers and directors and actors is, is almost realizable. You know, you can do mad, crazy things now with visual effects that you just simply couldn't commit to film before. And so I think it was, it was a real privilege to present visual effects because I think they're so important in terms of our, you know, realizing our collective creative vision. And Doctor Who, a winner tonight, are you a fan of that show? Do you think it's a worthy winner? I think it's a great show. I mean, it, Everybody I know wants to be on it, if they haven't already been on it. Um, and um, I've got young cousins, and they watch it every week. And uh, it's, it's thrilling. Doctor Who's been in people's lives for 40 years or something. And um, is it is that long? I'm not sure if that's an exact figure. But it's been, in, been around for a while. A long time. Yeah. And I think, it's, you know, I think that, that to, to keep it fresh and keep it new and keep it contemporary and also, you know, they're making new stories and... Making, uh, making new kinds of television with it, and I think so they're definitely a worthy winner. But. Is that something you'd like to be involved in then? or I'd love to do a Doctor Who, yeah. Um, Who would you be? Would you be a goodie or a villain? Uh, I'd probably be a villain. <laughs> I mean, I don't, get, I don't get so many villains these days, but, um, but uh, yeah, I'd love to have a bash at it. And apart from Doctor Who, what, what else have you got coming up now? I, I, I have... Um, I'm going off to do uh, a, a few... Um, uh, Christmas specials of Cranford. The Cranford Chronicles are coming back um, for the BBC. I think they'll be out around Christmas time. Um, and m myself and Jonathan Price and Michelle Dockery are the new family in town. Uh, and then we're going back to do more Wallanders, in fact. We're going to do three more Wallanders. I think I'm allowed to say that. Uh, in we hope you're allowed to say that. Don't get you in so, trouble. Yeah, no, I think we're going we're to go back to Sweden in the summer, uh, in July, August and September, and make... Um, make some more Swedish police thrillers for, uh, yeah, which is very exciting because I loved, I loved doing them when, when we first did them. And um, It's a great crew and Ken's fantastic and, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do and then who knows after that. You mentioned Ken. What's it, what's it like working with him as a, as a young actor? Uh, it's a thrill and it's a privilege because he has been through every kind of mill that I can think of and um, his range and his experience is just, he wears it very lightly and it's just, he's actually just a very funny, um, quite humble man in my experience and uh, prodigiously talented and always working, always trying to make it right, always trying to make it accurate and, and, um, and real and, and, um, and, you know, he just loves working and it's a pleasure to sort of be infected by his passion. Well, we look forward to seeing you both on screen together again soon and Excellent. enjoy the rest of your night. You, right. you, the scary part's out of the way. You, you've so done I'm your... Set, I've said my bit. I've done my thing, yeah. And nice and early. So. Nice and early. I can, you know, have a glass of champagne now. Pleasure, Tom. Thanks. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you.